The negotiated ceasefire in Israel's relentless bombing of Gaza means some Palestinians are able to return to their neighbourhoods. But nothing looks or feels familiar anymore. Total annihilation of homes, communities, the complete destruction of the fabric of life here. As you can see, thousands of residential units were destroyed. The same with other residential complexes in the north. Where to go? Where to sleep? This was my house, and now my family and I are homeless. Many are still buried under the debris. I cannot even pick some of my clothes from under the rubble to put on my back. However, we are not leaving. We're holding our ground. Even if I live in a tent, I will not abandon my homeland. Many others said the same as they first laid eyes on their neighborhoods. The destruction absolute. People also taking advantage of the quiet skies to fill up their tanks. Life has been on hold here for more than seven weeks. It's the third of a four-day ceasefire, delicately negotiated by Qatar, Egypt and the United States, to facilitate this. The second group of captives were released on Saturday night after an hours-long delay. Thirteen Israelis and four Thai nationals were handed over by Hamas to the Red Cross, who arranged their transfer to the Egyptian-controlled Rafah crossing, where they were then brought back into Israel. As part of the deal, the Israelis released 39 Palestinian women and children from their jails. In the occupied West Bank on Saturday night, crowds gathered to welcome them. Isra Jabez spent eight years in an Israeli prison for a charge she denies. My wounds are visible, and my struggles, I don't want to talk about them. The yearning for family, this is the price the prisoners pay. On Sunday, a third exchange is expected. For now, the Palestinian death toll is on hold, as people take stock of the extent of the destruction. But there is little relief here, as they wonder what will happen once the four-day ceasefire comes to an end. Stephanie Decker, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.